Welcome back to another Center of Aviation tutorial. In today's video, we'll be talking about how you can make liveries for any plane that you'd like for X-Plane 11 or 12. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your aircraft folder. Then you'll want to go to your aircraft that you want to do it with. For here, I'm going to do the Flight Factor 757-200 just as an example. Next thing is we're going to go down to the liveries folder right here. Bring that up and we'll look at all of our liveries that are already installed. If there isn't a blank white livery already installed, I'd recommend just getting the one closest to that, which just has the least amount of decals and stuff to worry about. So for the 757 here, I'm just going to go to Flight Factor House. This is editing slash feature center of aviation. Make sure to make a copy of your file folder when you are trying to make your new livery so that you don't mess up your old livery. We're going to go to Objects. And then for the 757, there's another folder. We're going to go to the 200 variant. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is look at this fuselage right here. Next thing we'll do here is open up Paint 3D. This is what I recommend for Windows 10 users. I believe it's on Windows 11 as well. So we're just going to go ahead and open a file, browse our files, and it should be right here. If not, just go through it and uh, find your fuselage. That was one that I was working on. We're just going to go to Flight Factor House real quick and go back through this. 200, open up the fuselage. Alright, so as you guys see, we have our different fuselage components. So for this video, I'm going to make a very simple livery. You can go as in-depth as you'd like. So I'm just going to make a quick one-color livery so that I can demonstrate this to you guys. But you can really go in-depth as much as you'd like adding different graphics. I'm going to make a quick navy one, pretty simple. I'm just going to drag in a quick square. So basically, we're just going to want to cover up the fuselage part. So you can kind of see here, you've got the uh, flight deck right here. This is the overhead, and then this is looking um, kind of at the right side of the aircraft. And then here's kind of the back part of the fuselage. So this is the front half and the back half. Each thing is kind of laid out differently for each plane. You should have this sort of setup, though. It might just be in different files on yours. So if I just want a one color design, I can basically just make this thing go over the whole plane. If I wanted two different colors or something like that, I can just resize this and then make another color for that. But if we want this to be a full navy plane, we're just going to drag that over this part of the fuselage. Make sure we're covering every single part up. As you can see, I missed one part up there, so we're just going to grab another square here. You can find these squares just, I mean, wherever you'd like to, on Google or whatever. So we're going to cover that up. Save that, and then we're going to cover the bottom part of the fuselage. So, let's resize this thing. Here's some of the other components as well. We're not going to worry about those for right now. So we'll just drag this up, and that is fully covered right there, so that should be good for the fuselage. To save this, we're going to go to Menu, and then just Save. Alright, and if we want to customize some other stuff, we can just go back out here to 757. We can go to Engines and Wings. I'll let you guys do that. You probably have the gist by now, but you can just cover up the parts that you want to, you know, make color, make it different than the regular livery that you have so that you can make your own custom one. Remember, with all things like this, remember to save it. All right, guys, now you can see that we have our navy livery that we just made. Just remember to make a copy of your folder. Like I said earlier in the video, that is very important if you don't want to mess up your old liveries. But that's just about it. You can go ahead and fly around. Do this with as many aircraft as you'd like. As you see, we just did the fuselage here. But, like I said, you can customize the engines and wings, winglets, whatever you want to do with it. You can really make this as good as you'd like. So I hope I could help you guys out. Make sure to comment any questions that you have. I hope everybody found this useful, and have a great day.